Here we are on the back of Lesson 9 homework. I've already highlighted some important information on number 3, so let's take a look at that. Mrs. Goldstein pours three juice boxes into a bowl to make punch. Each juice box holds 236 milliliters. How much juice does Mrs. Goldstein pour into the bowl? So I've highlighted for you some important information which is 236 milliliters in each juice box and that there are three juice boxes total. So we're going to draw a tape diagram, I'm sorry, a number bond to help us with that. There's my three groups. In each of my groups, I'm going to put 236 milliliters. I don't know what my total is. So using that idea, I am going to create a repeated addition problem. 236 plus 236 plus 236. I have three sixes. I can count by six, threes six times. Three, six, nine, 12, 15, 18. That's going to give me the total. I have three threes. I can count by threes three times. Three, six, nine, 12, plus one more on the top, 13. I have three twos. I can count by twos three times. Two, four, six, plus one more on the top is seven. So I'm going to write a sentence to explain how much juice Mrs. Goldstein puts in the bowl. She puts 700 38 milliliters in the bowl. Okay, let's go back. And look at number four. Daniel's fish tank holds 24 liters of water. He uses a four liter bucket to fill the tank. How many buckets of water are needed to fill the tank? So let's look at some important information. He has 24 liters. He uses a four liter bucket. We want to know how many buckets fill the tank. So let's think for a minute. I have 24 total liters. So here is my tape diagram showing 24 liters. He has four buckets. I'm missing, well, let's think about that again. Your teacher is wrong. Let's look back at the problem. He uses a four liter bucket to fill the tank. How many buckets of water are needed to fill the tank? So we go and he uses a four liter bottle. I'm missing how many buckets he needs to fill that tank. So I have my 24 liters divided by my 4 liter bucket. I can count by 4's until I get to 24 to find my groups. 4, 
8, 12, 16, 20, 24. That's going to give me 6. So I'm going to write he uses 6 buckets to fill the tank. We're going to go down to number oops, five. Here is the last problem on your homework assignment. Sheila buys 15 liters of paint to paint her house. She pours the paint equally into three buckets. How many liters of paint are in each bucket? Looking for important information. She has 15 liters. She pours it into three buckets. She does that equally. We want to know how many liters of paint are in each bucket. That clue word equally and each tells us what type of problem we have to solve. We have 15 liters of paint. She pours them into three buckets. I'm missing how much goes into each bucket. So I am going to create, since I have the total and the groups, I'm going to create a division problem. 15 liters divided by 3. I'm going to count by 3's until I get to 15. 3, 6, 9, 12, 15. That gives me 5 groups, or 5 in each group, liters. So, there are five liters in each group. Remember that you need to abbreviate liters with a, a capital L so that you know that it's liters and not a number one. I hope this helped your homework. Thanks, guys.